Hi guys, it's your Birdie Anders here. We're doing something different today. We're out in the garden. Uh, I'll show you what we're doing. Give me some good fun. Check out the hair. Right. Okay, so what we're doing is. Follow me. Okay, so last year um, we got a really cool table. Yeah. Well, it wasn't a table. It is a massive old cable drum um, thing. And um, it was free. It was a nightmare to get in, but we wanted it because they looked really, really cool. They planked um, cable drums. And it kind of looks like a Viking shield, so we painted it up to look like a Viking shield. Um, and yeah, that's been an awesome table. Um, but I've had this sitting around which is the off cut from the bottom there. <coughs> and I've kind of not been sure what to do with it <coughs> so the plan is the off cut from the bottom I'm going to cut it into three and put some legs on it I've got some scaffolding planks I've got some old boards and stuff like that I'm going to sand it all down well cut it down first sand it all down and turn it into three little benches so what I've done so far is <coughs> using some really intelligent maths. I've worked out the circumference of a diameter, which is 109 centimetres across, which works at 342 diameter, which works like so circumference or diameter divided times by pi. Um, so it means 114.08 centimetres equal distance, and then the inner diameter is 64.37. <coughs> so, I've already marked it out, so I've got a mark there, a mark there, we've got one there, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it <coughs> into three pieces, I'm going to use scaffy planks like this, cut those down to the right height, use those couple of things there as inside a support, sand it all there and paint it all up, and then we've got some nice little benches to go to the table. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm not going to talk about those, because this can take a while, so I'm just going to leave the camera going and do some time lapse stuff and I'll catch up with you in a bit when I'm all set up. Uh, I've got all my power tools out, I've got angle grinder, I've got my orbital sander. Weird people. I know. She's still there. Hang on. There's Nanya. Anyway, right, so we're going to do that, okay? So I'm going to stop, <coughs> get myself set up, and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so what we're doing at the moment <coughs> is just measuring out the height of the chair. So we've gone for about 40 centimetres uh, with an outlaw that's on top of the actual top of the circle bits, which is round about the same height as this little stool anyway. It's kind of perfect height. So this is straight on both sides. So... Okay. So what? I'll do this the same because that's straight edge of it. So. Okay, so that is measured out. I've got one, two, three on that, four on that. Can I get another one out 
here. I no, guess I can get another one out of the centre of that. There now. It's good. So then I've got some more scaffy planks down there for an extra thing. So what I'm going to do is a couple of legs to shape. Um, and sand it all down. Okay, so that's four of them cut. Um, what I have noticed is, obviously, my jigsaw is cutting a little bit more funky, which is not great. Um, but I can sort that out afterwards. I'm not too worried about it. I can plane them down or smooth them down and stuff like that. So we've got four of them so far. Um, so I'm going to leave the other two for now. And we're going to concentrate on getting back cut down. So I need to decide which is going to be the nicest side for it. So okay, that side's got a few cracks, but it's quite even. And that side. So we'll have that's top side. Right, let's get this thing cut down.
was really hard going. <coughs> Trouble is that is old um, Focus brand. <laughs> Focus went out of business of those oh, 15 years ago, maybe more. Um, so yeah, but I have managed to come through. I'm going to swap the blade over. I think it's overheating, which is what's called on the issue. So I'll let it cool down for a bit. I'll change the blade, tighten it all up. And hopefully I can get the next two done. But I mean, it's cut through that. It's a clean cut. That's good. So, two more to go. Something is not right <sighs> with that. It's got like three quarts through it. It's just binding, it's just jamming, I don't know. Um, <sighs> annoying. I could try angle grind it, cut through, or um, I could try handsaw. But um, I think that's probably going to be the best option. Because I'm not loving that. I mean, it's old, fair enough, but it's disappointing. Okay, right, I'm gonna give it one more try with that. And, um, if not, I'll get a hand saw out. Cut rest by hand. See you in a bit. Right, gave up. I've cut through my hand saw, and there's one piece done. And it took no time to cut through at all. Um, so, a bit of manual labour, uh, but I'll get that last piece cut. I just need something higher to put it on to make it easier to cut through. Right, let's put you down, let's give it a go.
one. We have two. We have three. That was a lot harder work than I thought. Because that is a piece of crap. But we did it. So, next stage, we've got legs cut. We've got benches cut. So, it's a coffee break and Sunday needs to lock down. So I'm going to have a break. Stop for a bit. I'll be back in a bit. And we're back. So, and then we're done. Um, have a break for a bit, cool down, get some washing out. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to try uh, with the angle grinder. Oh, it's got a super chunky grit. Um, it's like about 40 grit and see how we get on with that and then we'll go with flat disc and then we will go with the um all with all sander well belt sander to give it a nice clean finish because i want it quite smooth because we're going to sit on it so i'll stop again for a bit get you set up and we'll see how we get on figure out what to do with it, whether we're going to paint or leave it as natural wood, um, I'm not sure yet, Let's see what happens.
and smear looks lovely with grains coming out I may just varnish because it looks quite nice and that's what it was like before so that's a big big difference and I mean I'm using just sanding discs on the angle run it's doing quite well I've only replaced one and it was an old one to begin with anyway so getting there. This isn't the most ideal dust mask, but it's better than nothing. Um, and yeah, I really need to save the goggles. Don't do this at home. Don't try this at home. Disclaimer alert. Um, I'm not an expert. I just try stuff and if it works right, if it doesn't learn from it, um, make use of the tools that I've got. I haven't got most expensive tools, I haven't got proper tools for this probably, but yeah, I'm enjoying doing it. But um, it's a bit different. So I've got one more to go. And probably another once over with them before I get the belt sander out and then we've got to do the legs. So I'll probably just assemble two of them today. Well, actually, you can kind of see. Yeah, let's put it down a second. So, we'll sort of done. If you'd. If you'd. died. Um, yeah, I am giving up for the day. Um, so this is what I've done. So that is one that's sanded, it's not fixed together yet. 
and it still needs a proper final sand. And I don't know what to do. Um, what do you think? Bare wood, like so, and then sealed like linseed did, or something like that, or painted like so. What do you think? I'm not sure. I like the wood grain, I. Yeah, so I've still got to cut two more of these. Um, burnt through the... Oh, what grip was that? That was 60 grit, 40 grit. Um, and I went on to the flat disc and using... Is it 80? 60 grit <coughs> flat discs. Um, and uh, yeah, flap this a bit more uneven, so I've done that for the legs and stuff, and I'll get some more of these um, tomorrow or some point. Um, so yeah, the um, <sighs> jigsaw died. I don't know if it was overheating or it's just dead, or the wood was too much for it to cut through. I used it when I cut the table originally, so I don't know. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah, it's been a good day. Oh, I've also um, broke up some pallets and some other wood over there. That's some oak and some pine there, and the fire pit is emptied out. <coughs> so I'm going to clean up because I am <laughs> caked in dust. But it's been good, I've enjoyed it. So this will be part one. Um, no one. Still got some bits to sort of finish off, like the edges need to be sanded down a bit more. Some bits like the A is loose. So I'll nail that and give it a final smooth down. Obviously that's not safe at the moment because it's not nailed down. Um, I thought about for the legs. I could have them angled, so they're kind of that sort of shape, so they fit with the flow a bit, but I thought the square look, that looks quite neat, um, and that way I don't have to angle a piece of wood between the two, so I just could put a brace in between the two, um, I don't know what to use, I've got some chunky two before, I've got some 1B2 stuff. I might just put a couple of 1B2s and stick it all in. It's just to hold it together really. I'm going to nail it from the top, I'll screw it in, fix it down. Um, but yeah, so finish the rest tomorrow. Um, that chair I need to finish sanding down. That's my Viking-ish chair. I've got another one which I sanded down. They were horribly varnished. I bought them a couple of years ago and then they got left outside and so I sanded the one, linseeded it, and it went lovely, and then left it outside over winter because I'm an idiot. So I do that. So that's my more authentic-ish Viking. Well, it's a Scandinavian folk chair, technically, but um, I call it a Viking chair. It looks Vikingy. So yeah, just needs to be sanded down. I'll just um, naturally linseed it. I'm tempted to linseed it because if I linseed it, it's going to turn that brownie colour. And I kind of like that. So I'm thinking of just doing some raw linseed or boiled linseed and just soaking it in. Because it'll really bring out the grain and texture in it as well. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. Um, so I don't think I am going to. Uh, I finish this today, maybe tomorrow, not sure because it's Mother's Day, so family time. We'll see. It's been a good day. The sun's still out, blue sky, look at it, it's beautiful. Like just wispy clouds. It wasn't supposed to be this nice today, it was supposed to be cloudy today. I'm quite pleased. Uh, the sun's going to set. So yeah, get the washing in. Do that, do that. Maybe have a fire. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm going to do this as one separate video. 
simply because um, I think it's going to be another day before I do the rest and I'll get this edited and uploaded at some point this weekend. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Again, it's something different. It's not technically Viking, it's not bushcrafty, but it's just something a bit different. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed it. So do the like, do the comment, do the subscribe stuff. I'm at 120 ish subs now, so it's growing. Yeah. Um, that's it. I'll speak to you in the next video.